Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this new series of videos, we are going to take this static vector illustration that was done in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to import it into Blender and animate it. As you can see here, the illustration has now been animated. We created an armature in Blender and now it is fully animated. The illustration was provided to me by Kevin over at Kevin Creative. Big shout out to him for providing the illustration to me. And you should go over and check out his website, kevincreative.com, for some of his illustration work. Uh, and so thank you, Kevin, for the illustration. Uh, back here in Illustrator, the first thing we need to do is prep this illustration to import into Blender. And so the first thing I need to do is break it up and break up all of its moving parts, just like I did here. And so what I did is I broke up the arm, the legs, the nose and the hat break everything off that you know that you're going to animate separately that moves independently and once you've got that you select it maybe group it and then place it into a brand new file and save it as an individual file for example this is the right arm uh, i've got the hat i've got the head i've got the nose I've got the other arm and even the shadow and the background. Once you have all of the separate items saved as individual files, then we can import them into Blender. But before we import into Blender, I just wanted to show you guys some of the problem areas. Now, Blender cannot import gradients. Blender can also not import mask. For example, this square is masked by this shape. Blender cannot import blending modes. For example, this has a multiply blending mode and it cannot import opacity. So this is at 30% with a multiply. It will not import this. Uh, it used to be that it wouldn't import the strokes, but now it does, finally. Uh, it can also not import compound paths. For example, this is a compound path. It will not import fonts. This is a font so far, and I can select it and type anything I want. Uh, you have to convert the fonts into outlines. This is not a font. This has been converted to outlines. So I've got this file saved as an SVG. We're gonna import it into Blender and you can see what happens with this file. Back over here in Blender, I am going to create a new 2D animation. First of all, let's go to object mode and go to import SVGs as grease pencil. And I'm going to import this test first so you can see what happens with all of the problem areas. Import SVG. And you can see here that it did not import the gradient. It did not import the mask that we had. Remember we had a mask applied to this, this square. It did not import those blending modes. It just gave it a solid color. It imported the stroke, that's cool. It used to not be the case. It did not import the compound path. Remember we had this compound path like this and it did not import those fonts. Back in Blender, it did not import the fonts. It imported the outlines, but you could see uh, with the O is a compound path. So that creates a problem even with that. So you have to be careful. I've had done videos before on how to prep files for animation um, and it starts with this you can look at this one we i opened up the illustrator file and prepped it for um, import into blender here i have one how to prepare your vector files in inkscape in case you don't have adobe illustrator inkscape is free so you can download inkscape prep your vector arts to svgs and then import them. So I've got this one. I also have this one, import SVGs with color info. If you don't know how to save your SVGs, they will import without the color information. I also imported this character also, I, and I, I think I went over some of the import stuff here. And lastly, here's this one, how to add SVG graphics to your 2D animation scene. Now this one could be a little bit outdated, but still relevant on how to prep your files. Okay, here we are in Blender. Let's go ahead and import our character. 
Let me go ahead and create a new 2D animation. Don't save. And then import. And see how SVG as grease pencil is grayed out? It's because we need to go to object mode. Once we are in object mode, go to import SVG as grease pencil. And here we are in the folder. I'm going to select the arm, the other arm, the background, the cloud, the hat, the head, the two legs, and the nose. Oh, and the shadow. Import everything. And there they are. Now they are all piled up into the center, but that's the next step. It's just we just have to arrange all the items in according to how we want them arranged according to the reference image. Okay? So let's go ahead and start with the background. We're going to push that one back first. So let's push this one back first because that's going to be the furthest back. And then I am going to push this hat a little bit forward and up. I am going to push the head back a little bit so that I can see everything else. And then I'm going to start arranging these arms where I think they go. This one goes over here somewhere. Uh, this leg goes here. And this one goes over here. The shadow goes over here. The cloud, we're just going to get it out of the way. And the nose goes right there. And so that is pretty cool. All we need to do is arrange the items in the Y axis so that everything is again like the reference image like this. So we got to push the arm and the legs behind the head and the shadow behind the legs. Okay, so let's grab this arm and push it behind the head right to there. Let's grab all of this and push everything behind the head right to there. This one behind, this leg goes behind this leg and then the shadow goes behind both legs. And I'm just moving everything in the Y to arrange a stacking order. And that's how they stack up. We can uh, tweak the position mm, there. We can tweak the position there. And then I believe this one might be a little bit forward. there. Now we have to correct something. I did bring in the nose as a separate object. I'm going to hide it, but you'll notice that the face has the nose. So just select the face, go to tab, edit mode, and let's delete this nose here. Delete, 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 and delete. So now he has no nose, but the nose is right here tap back into object mode and there is our character right there not a big deal guys again there's a little bit of work prepping the file separating all the separate parts uh, converting them into SVGs and then importing them and then just arranging them back into the position that they need to go and then arranging the stacking order in the y-axis and that is basically it guys we're done importing all the stuff from the SVGs and the next step is to add the armature and we'll get that done in the next video again guys I'd like to thank Kevin for the providing me with the illustration and I hope that you guys like the video if you like the video guys go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one thank you guys